If you're just starting out, first of all, you need to beat, you need to beat Mickey Mouse. So let's find Mickey Mouse. Maybe I'll give you a couple tips on the first game. All right, so he's actually pretty easy to beat. So when you start, you, you're going to have the same deck as he does. I think it's Donald, Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Scrooge. I'm pretty sure that's, that's the deck you start with. Right? So let's see. Yeah, th that's that's the deck. So you have you and him have, have exactly the same deck. So what I would start with uh, is just see which character will allow you to get as many coins as you can uh, in the first uh, play. I would recommend most of the time to go with Scrooge if you can. If you see a good corner setup that can give you at least one coin, I feel like it's worth it to play Scrooge because he's going to just compound those coins. So in this case, I'm going to I I could play I could play mini for example here and get two coins, but Scrooge will also give me two coins and he will be compounding. And you can see there's plenty of coins around him. So he'll be able to get uh, coins on, on the future moves as well. So let's just position him here and he's gonna be in a good position to reach many places. Uh, let's see wh which one will give me the best returns. I could play mini and get... I could play her like this and get two coins, and then I will be set up for another move on the next turn. I could also play Mickey. Yeah, Mickey cannot give me two coins, and, and no matter where I play him. So I'm going to go with Minnie here and just play her here. Get these two coins. Uh, and I just realized I stole a Scrooge coin, so that's kind of dumb of me. So I'm going to move up here because there's plenty of coins there. I think it's fine. He still gets one coin. D don't steal coins from your own characters. That's a good tip. I kind of messed up here, but I think we're still going to be fine. Now my Scrooge can absolutely swim in that sweet, sweet dough and get these two coins. Uh, I can play Mickey here and get these three coins. So we are absolutely balling here. I would save your Goofy until turn four. And try to position your characters as f like to cover as much of the board as you can. Like I can pretty much reach almost anywhere uh, from this spot. Get two coins plus extra coin from uh, from Scrooge. All right. Now we play Goofy. Always play Goofy on turn four, unless you can reach every single golden coin with the characters that you have. Now I can't. I could get this coin with Mickey, with Minnie, so I'm going to do that. Uh, Mickey, can he give me any value? He can only give me one coin tops. Scrooge can... Yeah, Scrooge does not have an ability to reach any coins, so I'm going to replace Scrooge with Goofy here. Actually, you know what? I'm not, because Scrooge will still give me one coin, so I'm going to replace Mickey, because he will also give me one coin. But also, Mickey, I can set him up for a pretty... Pretty decent move next turn, next time. I can actually... No, actually... No, I'm gonna replace Mickey. Because Scrooge can have a lot of potential. Replacing Mickey, gonna get this coin. Minnie gonna get this coin. And Scrooge, I'm just gonna move Scrooge here because there's lots of goodies on this side like there's lots of coins for him to get he's pretty much guaranteed to get two coins next turn all right and now we have three coins on the board we can get this one with scrooge easily we can get this one with goofy there is no way for us to get this one which is totally fine donald I feel like you can play Donald when you need to replace a character. For example, if it if it benefits you to replace, for example, Scrooge. In this case, and it actually does, because I can just do this. Replace Scrooge and just collect all of this, like, a whole line of coins. So what I like about Scramble Coin, you literally just have to keep thinking, how do I maximize my coin game? How do I... Like, think a couple moves in the future. Like, this was absolute domination. 28 coins with the starter deck. That's really good. That's pretty much guarantees you a win. Let's try this again. I'm, I'm gonna... I wanna... I wanna try to cover as many uh, possible scenarios as possible. So let's do this again. Let's see if we can... If I can maybe get a few other tips. 
All right, so how are we going to start here? We're going to start with Scrooge. Once again, almost always, if you can get at least one coin, I would I would start with Scrooge. And we're going to play him right here. Just do put him in this position to have him cover decently large area. He is blocked in two of his directions, so that's not ideal. But it's, it's still pretty decent. So here we can actually play... If I play Mini right here, she can get these two coins. But then she's not going to be set up for anything else in the future. So that is probably the move I'm not going to make. Instead, I can play Mickey. I can play him right here and get him to this position. So he will have at least one coin next move and potential for a couple more to spawn there. I could also play him here and have him here, but from, from this point on, there's not much you can do. So the best move, in my opinion, is going to be play M Mickey, but to this position, because this way he can go pretty much his full range in three directions, which is pretty good. And Scrooge, I'm just going to get this coin and, and hope something will spawn near him. All right. Solid start. What are we doing now? Mickey, Mini. Mickey can get two coins. That is decent. Donald. Donald can actually get two coins if I play him in the corner here. That is a solid play. I don't think I can get... I mean, I could play Mini there too. But why not just play Donald if, if I'm literally starting from the corner? And he ends up in pretty solid position too. So we're going to we're going to go for Donald here. But then I'm stealing coins from Scrooge though. Man, I keep stealing coins from my Scroogey boy. I'm sorry, Scrooge. Hmm. I goofed a little bit. Did not mean to steal your coins. I'm sorry, Scrooge. See, I'm making mistakes, but still this battle is not the difficult once you get a hang of it. And Mickey can just collect these two coins. Oh, poor Donald did not... <laughs> they cannot get anything. Oh, look at all of these coins. Wouldn't it be nice to get them all? Alright, so let's see. What's the play here? Scrooge can get two coins. If Scrooge can get two coins, always keep him. Never replace him if he get two coins. Mickey can get two coins... Donald can get one coin. So, for me, it's not possible to reach this coin, no matter what I do. So, I'm going to replace Donald with Goofy, because he has the least coin-making potential. And now, well, I, I don't have a choice here which gold coin to go for. But if I had a choice which gold coin to go for, I would go for the one that your enemy has the highest chance of getting the next turn. Uh, I mean, he has Goofy, and... Donald can reach this coin, Goofy can reach this coin. So in this case, they both can be reached by your enemy. But sometimes there's going to be a coin far away that you, from any of your enemies. It's going to be less likely for them to get it. So let's just get this coin. Now I play Scrooge. Oh, I feel bad for stealing this coin from Mickey. But once again, sometimes you just have no choice. And we're going to... Now, the question is, where do I want my Mickey to end up? Here? Or potentially here, because I feel like he is going to have much more moves, uh, uh, like much more range if I end up on this cell. So I'm just going to make a short move for Mickey, only get one coin. But look at all these coins, they're all so close to me. Look at these three gold coins. There's nothing I can do, I cannot reach them from here, so I might as well maximize how many coins I can get right now. So... I can definitely get two coins with Mickey. I can go for Donald here. I, I could get this. I think I should. But but look, you can get three coins, or you can get three coins by getting gold coin. You should probably always go for gold coin, just so your enemies don't have access to it. So I'm actually not going to do what I, what I was just going to do. I'm just going to keep my characters as is. And I'm just going to go for this gold coin. And I'm going to go for this. No, for this. And Scrooge is going to go for these two. 
So even though we skipped on most of the gold coins, I was in the complete s sea of gold coins. So I still managed to get enough to beat this game. All right, let's do one more game. I feel like, okay, this is going to be a dedicated video just to how to beat Mickey. Because that is, that is, once you do this, you're going to start pretty much farming points even for losing. But in order to to even start the scramble coin journey, you're going to have to beat, to beat Mickey Mouse. Let's do this again. Let's analyze the board. Let's see what's going to be our first move. I can get two coins with Mickey or Donald. And... I mean, mini or Donald. And if I can play either, always play Donald. So we're going to actually... I could also play Scrooge. You know what? I'm going to start with Scrooge. That's smart. Get two coins. Basically three coins. And he places him in a very solid position to move pretty much almost anywhere he wants the next turn. That is solid. That is very solid. Okay... So what are we doing here? So I don't have any amazing moves right now, if I'm being honest. I could get pretty much one coin. I could play Mickey here and get two coins, but then I feel like Mickey and Scrooge are going to be sharing the same tiny area for coins. Instead, I see this Donald Duck, and the only coins he can get next turn is this one. So I'm just going to be a mean, mean person, and I'm just going to steal it from him. So we're going to do this. I'm going to play my Mickey Mouse here. And I'm going to steal this coin from him. This way I block him off from getting any more coins. Potentially. There still might some coins spawn in his way. But this way I get a coin. And steal potentially one coin from my enemy. So that's sometimes that's what you need to do. And Scrooge. If I go here. That's going to be encroaching on that territory. So I'm just going to go down. Doesn't really matter. He has access to some coins there. Okay, now what? Donald cannot do anything. So, potentially, I got two coins last time because I stole one of them from my enemy. So, it's like getting two coins. Now, in this case, uh, Mini has access to nothing. Donald has access to just one coin. So, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to steal it. I could go for this one, but instead, I, I might as well just... I mean, Donald can go for this coin as well. But he cannot go for both. All right, so what's going to be a good play here? Let's think. I think a good play here is going to be mini right here. Get two coins, get one coin with Scrooge and get one coin with Mickey. I'm going to go and get this coin because I don't want Donald to get out of, of that cage. Okay. Mini cannot get nothing because I blocked her off. You poor little mouse. And now we... Uh, I get one gold coin for free for Mickey. Now this gold coin, I don't think I can reach it even if I place Goofy here. But Mini, Mini actually has access to two gold coins. So that is good for me. I could reach that. Scrooge, however, cannot reach any coins. So this is where we're going to say goodbye to Scroogey Boy. And I'm going to teleport somewhere where I, I can have a potential to get some coins next time. So if I place here and then I play Scrooge next time, I can potentially get these two coins if I don't have any better play. But it also might be smarter to teleport somewhere closer to the center so I can have access to the future gold coins. So I'm going to take this coin instead this this taking this all right mini is gonna get this gold coin which is fine they're so far behind okay so what are we doing here wow okay so i cannot reach pretty much any gold coins here Except one with Goofy. The way I see it, 
the way I see it, the enemy can only get one with Goofy as well. They cannot, they can, well, they can get this one, but I cannot steal it from them anyway. So I might as well just, uh, I might as well just go for it and just replace Mini with, actually with Donald. And get these two coins. Uh, Goofy is just going to get this coin, I guess. And Mickey just going to get these three coins. Getting three silver coins is pretty much like getting gold coins. So, if you cannot reach gold coins, try to maximize the amount of silver coins you can get. Alright, let's just do one more, just in case. I hope, I hope watching this video is going to help you guys beat this Mickey Mouse if you're stuck with him. He's really not hard to beat. You just need to, uh, j just try to look a couple moves forward and try to plan your whole strategy uh, a couple moves ahead. So here, there's nothing cool in the corners. There is literally nothing good to play. So I'm going to play Scrooge. And I'm just going to get uh, this one coin. And I potentially have very wide variety of moves for my next turn. Well, I did until Mickey just decided to just block me. How dare you? Bad mouse. Uh, here I could play with Mickey and have myself open to this whole area. I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, this board is not very good for Donald, so we're going to keep him... We're going to do this. And Scrooge, I guess I'm going to go... I feel like I'm going to go down because Mickey now has this area covered. So I don't want to encroach in his area. Okay, solid place, solid place. So when Mickey can get one coin here, one coin here, Scrooge can get this coin. That's the only thing he can get. Still nothing for Donald. Absolutely nothing for Donald. Now, actually, I could play Donald here and get these two coins. I think I'm going to do that. Let's do this. Scrooge is going to get this one. And Mickey is going to get this one. Yeah, I think I'll go all the way. Bad move. Did you see what he did? He did exactly what I did to him earlier. I respect it. He stole my coins and blocked my Mickey. Now I cannot get any coins with my Mickey. Which is once again unfortunate, but totally fine. Because... I'm going to replace my Mickey. No, I'm not going to replace my Mickey. So this Mini can steal. She basically has two gold coins that she can steal. So there's not much I can do here. Hmm. I'm going to replace my Scrooge. With Goofster. And I'm going to go for this coin. No, actually, for this coin to be closer to the middle. Now we're going to do this. And I guess... Mickey, I'll bring him closer to the middle too, just in case. Alright, alright. This is this is a close game. This is a tough one. I, I, I made a few poor choices. But now, watch this. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is going to be... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I cannot reach that one, though. All right, it's still fine. So we can do this. We can do this. We can get uh, these two gold coins with Donald. Get th these two silver coins. And I guess I'm just going to go... Well, I cannot stop Mickey from getting that coin. But I guess I can stop Minnie from getting this coin. So, And potentially limit Scrooge's gains yep and now you there's not much you can do all right we just beat this four times in a row guys hopefully this was useful hopefully watching this and seeing my thought process helped you out so the only thing i can do is beat it for the fifth time maybe we encounter a different scenario i'm just gonna go real quick here gonna try to speed run this one so i i see very good opening there's like this is the game this is the one where you probably don't want to play scrooge because he doesn't have much potential no matter where you land i don't think you land in a good position so instead we're gonna go with uh you know what no i, I feel like scrooge needs to be first because you start compounding those coins i'm gonna go 
Uh, we're gonna go in this corner, and I'm just gonna pray that something will spawn in my way. Because I'm pretty much getting two coins for this move, no matter what. Okay, now I can go for Mickey. There's nothing to do for Donald. I don't see any good moves for Minnie. So I'm gonna go for Mickey, and I'm gonna get these two coins. And Scrooge will go here, potentially setting it up for the next turn. Okay. Now, what are my options? I could play Mini and get these two coins. I think that's a good move. And puts her in the middle, in a very open position. I'll, I'll basically bury Scrooge there, it's fine. Uh, and I'll get this coin. Fair enough. Oh, look at that. How. Whoa, Scroogey, my boy. So, what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna just replace Mini with Donald. And just go all the way here. Gonna get this coin with Scrooge. And Mickey just gonna get these two coins. Absolutely sweeping the field. If I can say so myself. Alright. And now I have Goofy if I need him. But I don't think I need him actually. I don't, I don't think I need him. I can get that coin. I can get... You know what? I will replace Scrooge with Goofy. We're gonna get this coin. I'm gonna get this coin. And I'm gonna get... Whatever, it doesn't matter. We win. We 28 coins with a starter deck. Absolutely insanity. Guys, I'm starting to like this deck kind of a little bit. All right, this one is just for fun. I want to try to challenge some powerful opponent with this deck. I'm curious if, if now with all my scramble coin knowledge, if I can actually win. Let's challenge Merlin. I know he is a very powerful. Or let's let's do Fairy Godmother. She is also pretty nasty. Remember, even miracles take a little time. She's level two. I want to find somebody so who's level helpful. three. Who is level three? Oh, hey there. This valley. Another little tip to rank up faster, just play against Gaston or Goofy all the time. These guys, uh, I mean, not Gaston, uh, Goofy and Mickey. After you beat Mickey, I think you're going to have a higher chance of beating him again. All right, here we go. Merlin is level three. Now that's going to be a true test. Can the starter deck beat... Merlin, one of the hardest opponents in the game, level 3. He has some of the... He has a very powerful deck. I think it's going to be a very, very challenging fight. Probably probably not going to happen, if I'm being honest, but who knows. Crazier things have happened. Alright, fair enough. I'm going to go here with Donald and grab these two coins, if you don't mind. And Scrooge will get this one. Ah, come on! <laughs> you cheater! You cheater! Uh, I don't have much more plays than just doing this. And Scrooge. Oh boy, Scrooge, you are you are not you are not doing too good right now, do you? <laughs> oh my god, we're gonna get destroyed. Merlin is going to absolutely wreck me. Eat me for breakfast. Oh my god, he stole my Scrooge coins and blocked my mini! 
Okay, so yeah, the, the the starter deck is not incredible. Definitely is not incredible. <laughs> I give up. So SOS. SOS, I give up. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm 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 pretty much done here, but it was fun! Like you cannot expect to win against powerful enemies, but level ones I think level ones can definitely be beat by by this deck. Oh yeah, we we are absolutely smoked here. Solids Oh I just made an oopsie. I just made a big oopsie. Solid 23 coins! <laughs> oh god! Oh. oh, 31. Okay, I, I learned my lesson. Do not play level 1 decks versus level 3 characters. Easy peasy. Alright guys, if this was useful, if after watching this video, you managed to beat Mickey Mouse in Scramble Coin for the first time, Please let me know in the comments. I would love to hear about your success. And thank you so much for watching. Subscribe for more. Huge thanks to all of our supporters. I've been enjoying Scramble Coin a lot. I've been playing it every day. Uh, and uh, I think I think it has a lot of potential. I don't want it to end at 300 points. Also, as you unlock more figurines, you're going to be adapting your style. You're going to be replacing some of the characters in your deck. I'm going to be releasing more videos on Scramble Coins soon. I'm going to have a tier list coming out of all the figurines. I'm going to have a video with tips and tricks. I feel like now I'm actually in a position to give some good tips after playing it for a while and actually mastering the game. So uh, if you want to see those videos, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.